the ball, their own seven. Gray, the quarterback, holds on, makes the turn. Good run by Alan Gray. The senior gets up to about the 18-yard line, very close to a first down. Got some tough ones ahead. Penn State is ahead of them. Mississippi State, the throw complete for Kraut. Touchdown, the tight end, Bart Kraut. On the fake by Gray, his first pass is a touchdown for Alabama. A 27-yarder to the tight end. 77 to 81. So my senior year was when Coach Bryant broke Alonzo Stack's record. So all the games were televised. It was a big deal, and it was a big deal for us. And so, in the history, that's kind of dates where where I what time I graduated. Um, I was a, a, a sub. I want to say a sub, a backup. I was a backup to Stedman. Uh, I wasn't a backup to Walter, but I should have been a backup to Walter. Uh, over five years, I, I was usually like the second or third guy in line. And, and we beat everybody so bad that we always got to play. So I always got a lot of play at that. Uh, going into my senior year, my wife and I, I asked my wife, we got engaged. I was, we were going to get married that summer. So that spring, I find out that not only did I have to ask my wife's father for her hand, but I had to ask Coach Bryant if I could get married before my senior year. <laughs> that was a little shock, and I went in. We had a lot of guys that were married, living in dorms. Come to find out, I went in to ask Coach Bryant. Coach Bryant, he laid the law down. He said, I only said a lot of our seniors are out. He said, we're kind of low on leadership. I want you to postpone your wedding until after the bowl game. <laughs> that was okay with my mother, but it wasn't okay with my mother-in-law. <laughs> Anyway, so we were chatting and I postponed the wedding. And, you know, I always knew that God had a plan for my life. And so that summer, you know, I work out. I was always working out. I went to summer school, went through the training program. Well, we came, but we have to report. We have to run a mile. I hated the mile. I had a young whippersnapper from Gardendale, Alabama, that named Paul Fields. And Paul decided he was going, he was another quarterback, one impressed Coach Bryant, took off with a 62nd first lap. Well, needless to say, I gassed myself out. I didn't make my mile time, which meant that I missed fandom. It's my senior year now. And I put on my wedding. Coach Brian, I didn't get to go to fan day. And when I reported the first day, I was the last on the depth chart. The last guy. That means the scholarship players were ahead of me, and so were the walk-on players. <laughs> so for the whole two days, I had to get beat up by the first 10 defense. And when the first game rolled around, I made the trip. But it was because I was on special teams and I was holding. Kim Cole was a quarterback. Walter played. Paul Fields played. So that was basically my role until we got to about midway through the season. And we played uh, Southern Miss and Birmingham. And in the second half, Coach put me in and we played well. And we ended up tying Mr. Field goal to win the game at the end of the game. And the next week, he let me start. He, he called me and he said, Alan, I'm going to let you have the game. You're starting. So this was my first start at Alabama. Now, I want you to understand, all these guys up here, they measure their starts in years. I'm measuring my starts in games. <laughs> and so, I still, Walter's left. I started, and God bless, and we won. And it was my father's birthday. He'd come to every game for five years, and I won the ESPN Player of the Game. So that was something special to me, special to family. So I started the rest of the games, but I would usually play the beginning of the game because Walter had more talent on, on one hand than I had in my whole body. And so he played, and when Ken Coley was healthy, I want to say when he was healthy, Walter, Ken Coley played because he was from Birmingham, great player. And so anyway, when the year, when, when the season was over and the team had a chance to vote who the captain was, they voted me. Only six games. So it's, uh, it's a special thing for me. It's a special thing for our family. But it goes to show for anybody that's out there. And I've got a friend who played at Alabama in the 60s. And he has CTE. So when he spoke at our church, he looked right at me and he said, Alan, he said, you got to go home. you got to write everything down. You need to go ahead and write all this down before you forget it, for your kids or for your grandkids. So I started going back, and I never read an article while I played. I never watched a Coach Bryant show. And so I looked through my mother's um, scrapbook, and I went back and I started writing down all the things that former players had told me. 
that maybe I helped them whenever they were in, in school. And so, you know, the, the message that I think, and, and it took, I, I guess I'm, I'm 59, so at 59 I finally realized the testimony that I have from my days at the University of Alabama. And I really didn't realize that, David, for the first 20 years after I graduated. But God can use one person to impact a lot of people. And um, so for anyone out here, if you struggle, if you, if you feel like that uh, life's kind of got you by the tail, just have faith. There's somebody that's walking beside you every day. And He will reward you in due time. So. Thank you.